Hello, we hope you're as excited about Hour of Code as we are at Clever. The purpose of this video is to explain how to install Grok Learning on Clever, how to set it up on your teacher page and share it with your students, and how to preview the recommended Hour of Code activity in Grok Learning. To get started, you first need to sign into your Clever portal. Just use the credentials your district provided you and you'll be able to get in. Now that you're logged in, this is the homeroom. In your homeroom, you will find your district page, where all the applications that your district shared actually live, and any pages that you created and customized yourself. So in my homeroom, I want to create a special Hour of Code page that I'll share with all of my students next week. To do this, just click Add, click Page, and voila, go ahead and customize its title. In this case, I think I'll name it Hour of Code. Let's install Grok Learning onto this page. First, I'll click the Add button, then I'll click App, then I'll use this handy search bar to type in the name of the app. After you've read a little bit about Grok Learning, click Install. With a simple click of the button, you'll be brought to the authorization page. This is the page where you will give Grok Learning permission to take the first name and last initial of your students in order to create accounts for them all, automatically. Pretty neat, right? Then you can select which pages you want to add Grok Learning to. Grok Learning highly recommends its activity named Virtual Pet for middle schoolers. This activity is structured as a sequence of interactive notes and questions that students are challenged to answer. The activity will actually be to build a Tamagotchi Virtual Pet. Since Grok Learning provides an entire lesson plan on this activity, I'm just going to show you today how to get your students set up. I will note that the application requires parental consent for students under the age of 13. Upon logging in, your students will be asked to indicate their age, and if under 13, it will show this screen. If you don't think it's feasible to get this parental permission in advance, then we recommend you try installing CodeHS. After you log in, you'll be asked to verify the school that you teach at. Go ahead and do that, and then scroll back up and click Skip to proceed to the activities. Once you're in the launch pad shown here, use the search bar to search Virtual Pet. You can do either activity. The Microbit Blockly is the one with drag and drop coding. You can view each step in the Virtual Pet activity through this sidebar. To make it super simple for your students to access this activity, let's add a link onto your teacher page. First, copy, or I use control C, the activity URL in Grok Learning. Then go back to the Hour of Code page that you created, then click link. Paste that URL in and name it Virtual Pet Activity or Customize to Fit. And if you want, you can customize the icon image. Then go ahead and save this link. You can control whether your students have access to your Hour of Code page simply by clicking the sidebar Edit Student Sharing button. You can either share it with some of your sections or all of the students you teach. Check the Hour of Code email from Clever for the link to the precise lesson plan. If you have any other questions about Hour of Code or how to participate with Clever, feel free to email library at clever.com. Happy teaching and happy coding!